joining me on today's another random vlog video. So, um, just letting the ST warm up before I take it out. I'm actually going to take a little bit of a road trip to Kisho Ceramic Coating in Eastleigh and obviously Handy Performance are there as well. So I've not been down there in quite a while so I was like I might just pop down there, see Steve and see some of the guys in um, Handy, Performance, Handy Performance and see what sort of cars they got going down there. I'm eating a mint at the moment, I've got a bit of a sore throat. But yeah anyway, so um, turn that off for a minute, flippering. So before we get into the video, if you are new to the channel, don't forget you can subscribe at the bottom and also click the like button and also that bell notification button. That just tells you when I upload my new videos. As simple as that. And also you might have just seen as well the AJ Focus ST RS Legends uh, merchandise on the Facebook store and also just a glimpse of it in a minute ago. We've got the ST Legends key tags printed on both sides with a very cool little snap on easy to remove and put on key tag. If you want to grab them, they are on the Facebook storefront. You can go through Instagram as well. If you don't fancy that one, you can get yourself the AJ Focus one, which I also have. So this one I've had for quite a while. So you can grab yourself the AJ Focus key tag. And I've just dropped my other key tag, so that don't like I say, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to just subscribe at the bottom so you can keep up to date on all the cool stuff that I get up to with the ST and stuff. Um, and also the build videos that will be coming out in the next few months when it warms up a little bit. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, we have some goodies to do on the ST soon, hopefully, fingers crossed. Just go and grab some of that awesome gear stuff. Hoodies, t-shirts, I've got like five different designs of t-shirts. I've got like five different designs on hoodies as well. So you got the Mark II ST, Mark II RS, Mark III ST, and Mark III RS as well, and the same with the t-shirts, and, and there's different sorts of patterns and designs on them as well. And the coloured of the hoodies, you can change the colour of the inside of the hood and the tassels. And the t-shirts, you can change the colour of the t-shirts as well. There's only a little bit of colour and choice on that, but orange, if you've got an orange ST, orange t-shirts look fantastically bright, and they are so good in orange. Especially if you go for the black hoodie with the orange inserts with the orange tassels. The orange on that as well is so cool, it looks really, really nice. Um, so yeah, you want to go and grab some of that stuff, guys. All links are at the bottom to the Facebook storefront. And um, if you're wondering how do I buy it, you just got to message me. That's all you got to do. Just message me saying I want that one. PayPal payment cleared by receive, and I'll keep you up to date on all the order and process. I also send you pictures and let you know when I've sold, when, I, when when I've posted it, and I let you know when I've ordered it. And I'll send you an invoice as well to say that you've purchased it. This is what it was. So yeah, um, awesome. So just wait for the SC to warm up, and I'll see you guys in a minute at Kisho Ceramic Coating. Stay tuned for today's video, guys. Ah, the tunnel blast. guys so I've come into Handy Performance. Um, I went over to Kisho but Steve's not here at the moment. He's away for a while so there's another guy over there. Um, I've just been talking to him so he's gonna mop my bonnet in a minute for me which is nice of him. Um, just get a few little scratches out but I thought I'd come in here quickly just to see if there's any new cars in it and there is a few. This Mercedes is still here, got a Porsche and we have the Sierra RS Cosworth in here now, now it's complete. I'm guessing it's had its ceramic stuff. To... Man, this thing is, every time I see it, it's beautiful, absolutely mint. Man, this thing's gonna be worth something. And we have a Ferrari 360 convertible spider in here. Some nice sort of gunmetal wheels. Yeah, you don't see these very often anymore. It's weird, these sort of cars back in the day, people were buying them left, right and centre, you know, the, everywhere, all the old school Lamborghinis like this, Ferraris like this, you know, and they just sort of disappeared, didn't they? It's just like you don't see them anymore, which is a shame. Um, the old classic sort of 
supercars, sports cars, maybe like this. But this is a really, really, really nice white pearl. And the camera picking it up. Absolutely stunning. Right, and then here we have the most disgusting Porsche 928. There's some weird vents on the side. Not the original Porsche wheels on here either. Um, and a weird spoiler that I don't think is factory at all. Um, oh man, whoever done this car up? Put the vents there as well. Ooh. Lovely. But the best, along with the Sierra, a Capri. Oh man. And my dad had one of these back in the day. And this one's mint though, this thing is absolutely mint. I've never seen a Capri in this condition before. Man, that is absolutely mint in there. Man, it doesn't look like anyone's actually sat on those seats at all. I don't know if they are the original Capri wheels, I'm guessing they are, but they are absolutely mint as well. And the whole car is just completely rust free. I've just been looking around the car in a minute ago, there's no dents, no scratches over the bodywork. I mean, look at the paint on it as well. For like a car that's this old, it's just it's got a mirror finish on it still. This was the uh, UK's American muscle car of the day. Because obviously America had the Mustang. So we had the Capri. I just can't believe the condition of one. I, I've seen these like in barns and people's driveways just rotting away. But to see one actually in this condition and all its glory, how it looked like when it came out of the factory, is just, I can see why they're such a iconic car of the day. Same with the Sierras. I mean, the scenic condition of them like that is just like unmolested, untouched. It's just unbelievable. The Ferrari as well. Just like I say, don't see Ferraris like this anymore. You know, it's, just, it's a shame. Because it's still a good looking, good looking car. I mean, that colour. Jeez. It's like got some iconic cars in it. There's that front end though, isn't it, eh? It's a bit hard to get a front end because there's not a lot of room here. Let's get the whole front end in. Uh, so it's a bit hard. Wooden dashboard. It smells very old in there. Look at the clock down there, send the console down there. <laughs> it's done 62,000 miles as well. I don't want to go in it because I think there's a, there is an alarm. I'll put my head in a minute, I need lots of flashing, so I'm not going to put the camera in there. Factory sunroof. So, back at the Ferrari, I just want to get a better look in the interior. Look at that. I like how they've uh, contrasted the, the outside of the car, white pearl to the center console here as well, for the center of the car. I always like when they do that, and then around the dials as well, and around the stereo surround as well. So, they oh, they've done it down the bottom of the door there as well, so they contrast the whole beautiful color of the pearly white on the interior too. And I've always liked those sort of gear shitters as well. I've never actually driven a Ferrari like, I've driven a Ferrari flappies, but I've never driven a Ferrari with that sort of stick shit pan. I like to see what it sort of feels like. Um, yeah, I've always liked how it's sort of exposed it is. So yeah, I have driven Ferraris, I have driven cars with flappy paddles, but never have driven an old school sort of Ferrari. The old engine the back there, the V8. That thing screams. And then here's the Sierra Cosworth back again. Actually up for sale for 55 grand. Yeah, you've seen this before, but goddamn, never gets old. And Steve done a fantastic job on cleaning this up. And probably one of the, uh, well, we've got the three, three best cars. We've got a Capri, we've got Sierra RS Cosworth, and we've got the best in here, Focus RS Mark II, as you know, 
in that really nice white the black gloss black accents around it I'm definitely going to get one of these soon um, I'm still going to keep the ST though but I definitely want to get one of these not in this colour I'll probably get it in blue as well because obviously I like my blue um, I don't know what spec this one is I think this one I looked at before and uh, I think it had the 370 mounting pack on it so this is the sort of spec I actually do want I don't want the stereo and sat nav all built in I don't like that silver part in the middle it's just I like it like this um, it just looks a bit tidier but I'm sure that Capri sounds awesome these sound awesome and you can't beat a five cylinder rumble can you really just absolutely beautiful right moving around here we've got the Hendy's um, Rally Fiesta seen this before haven't you guys the R5 massive sort of racing seats so yeah that's it then guys we've got a Porsche here we've got an old school Merc got another Porsche there still got the orange RS which is disgusting so, yeah, I'm going to go out in the car park and have a look around out there. So there are some more Mark II artists out there. I'm going to go look at, and some awesome Mustangs as well. So we're going to go outside and have a look around. So coming out to the car park, we've got the Mustang that Hendy are doing at the moment, tearing it down. We've got a real nice Mustang over there. It's got a supercharger on it, so that's got to be pushing almost 800 horsepower. We've got an RS Mark II here with some mounting stuff going on in the front. Not many cars in here today, um, but they are very, very busy in the workshop. I'm going to go over there and admit the ST and that, get, the, get some work done on that. But yeah, we've got a teardown Mustang GT350 here, which is completely gutted. Christ. Wow. And here we go guys, so they are very very busy and they've got a GTI on the ramp, so I'm not going to look at that in a minute. Mustang, Focus. Yeah, but we're we'll walking here, have a look in a minute. So I've just quickly come over to Kisho, and while I was over here a minute ago, I didn't film it, but I'll quickly put it on the end of the video. They have a Thunderbird in here, old, I think it's one of the very first. I'm not too sure, there are no American cars, but I do know this is like the early Thunderbirds maybe 50s, 60s sort of style, but yeah. What is one in Flubber? Robin Williams. <laughs> oh man, it's so big. Look at that interior. But, um, I do love American cars. It's just, they're just like, it's just like, it starts like there and it goes on and on and on and on and on and on. And then it finishes just there. I mean, look at the back of that thing as well. It's, it's awesome, doesn't it? Jesus. The size of those lights. The weirdest thing is though, New NSX and the old NSX part together. They look nothing alike, do they? Nothing alike. Mm. Right. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed today's random video again i'm gonna go bring my car over here now and um yeah i'll see you on the next video guys thank you very much for watching very nice very interesting, but... i know I'll, I'll vlog everything though <laughs> just uh, gonna quickly get the bonnet and quickly mop over and just see if we can hide some of the uh, light scratches on there
that looks when you've done that side. You definitely see a bit of more shine in it. <laughs> 